The primitive pancreas consists of a dorsal and a ventral bud. The dorsal bud arises as a diverticulum from the dorsal aspect of the duodenum and the ventral part originates as a common diverticulum with the primitive common bile duct. At six week gestation, the ventral bud rotates 270 degrees to lie posterior inferior to the dorsal bud. The pancreas is located in a retroperitoneal position at the level of T12. Its size is normally 50 grams in an adult and the shape is a tongue shaped or a clover leaf shaped. It has a head, neck, body and a tail. It extends from the loop of the duodenum up to the helium of the spleen. Histologically, the pancreas has three types of tissues. The acne or exocrine tissue that occupies 80%. The islets of Langhans or the endocrine tissue or endocrine pancreas occupies 2% of the entire pancreas. And fibrous trauma is the one that occupies 18%. The islets of Langhans are made of several cells. The alpha cells, which secrete glucagon, and they occupy 20 to 25 percent of the pancreatic islets of Langhans. Beta cells occupy 60 to 65 percent, and they secrete insulin. Delta cells secrete somatostatin; they occupy 5 percent, and we have the F cells, which secrete polypeptide. The cells in the islet of lung hands communicate and control secretions of each other. And in human beings we have 1 to 2 million islets of lung hands. Insulin is synthesized in the rough endoplasmic reticulum of the beta cells, then transported into the Golgi apparatus where it is packaged in a membrane-bound granules. The granules move to the plasma membrane by a process involving microtubules and their contents are expelled by a process known as exocytosis. The insulin then crosses the basal laminas of the beta cell and a neighboring capillary and the fenestrated endothelium of the capillary to lead the bloodstream. Insulin is a polypeptide containing two chains of amino acid that are linked by a disulfide bridges and it looks like two railroad tracks. It is formed from an 86 amino acid for hormone by enzymatically removing the central amino acid string and linking the remaining strands with two disulfide bonds. Insulin secretion is stimulated in response to amide. An unelevated blood glucose or hyperglycemia is the primary stimulus for insulin secretion. Glucose binds to its glutide to transporter on the pancreatic beta cells, which carries it into the cell by facilitated transport. Inside the cells, glucose metabolism leads to increased adenosine triphosphate levels, which in turn open the potassium channels, depolarizing the cell and increasing the intracellular calcium concentration. Elevated calcium induces a fusion of the storage vesicles with the cell membrane and stimulates insulin release. Transport of insulin is done in an unbound form and this insulin has an half-life of 6 minutes. The insulin receptor is known as a tetramacell membrane, or tyrosine kinase, and acts by phosphorylation of enzyme. The insulin is destructed by insulinase enzyme. Insulin is an anabolic hormone, and its anabolic activity acts by increasing the storage of glucose, fatty acids, and amino acids. Therefore, it is known as the hormone of abundance. The target cells for insulin have a specific receptors on the cell membrane that bind to insulin. The number of receptors and their affinity for insulin are affected by factors such as excess, food, other hormones and plasma insulin levels. Posture to increased insulin levels decreases the receptor concentration and the affinity of the receptors for insulin and then the exposure of less insulin has the reverse effect. The number of receptors increases in starvation and decrease in obesity. Thus, the cells adapt to the plasma levels. Insulin is an anabolic and increases storage of carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. Insulin rapidly increases glucose uptake by almost all the tissues in the body. Then the glucose that enters the cells is rapidly converted to storage forms, that is, the glycogen. 
Insulin speeds up the uptake by increasing the number of glucose transporters in the cell membrane. And the intermediate actions of insulin are the stimulation of protein synthesis and inhibition or degradation of protein. Within harvest, insulin causes an increase in the amount of manufactured metabolic enzymes. And insulin also increases the uptake of amino acids by cells and speeds protein synthesis and lipogenesis. The glucagon is a single chain of 29 amino acids that is synthesized by the alpha cells. This glucagon acts primarily on the liver to increase and maintain a blood glucose level. Its secretion is increased in response to hypoglycemia or declining blood glucose and increasing blood amino acid levels and is inhibited by insulin acting directly on the alpha cells through the insulin receptor. Glucagon is a catabolic, restores blood glucose levels by stimulating glucose synthesis from the amino acid and by stimulating fat metabolism, sparing glucose. It mobilizes glucose, fatty acids and the amino acid from the stores into the bloodstream. And the secretion rates of glucagon and insulin change in opposite direction to maintain blood glucose homeostasis. Glucagon elevates blood glucose level by two mechanisms. Stimulating the synthesis of new glucose by the liver from the amino acids by a process known as gluconeogenesis or by stimulating the liver to metabolize fatty acids rather than glucose. Glucagon and insulin work together to guard against hypoglycemia and hyperglycemia. Blood levels of glucagon and insulin exhibit a reciprocal relationship with the blood glucose level determining the balance of the blood glucose. Somatostatin is secreted by the delta cells of the pancreatic islets and it regulates the secretion of other hormones from the pancreatic cells. It inhibits secretion of both insulin and glucagon, so it is an inhibitory hormone and reduces the absorption of nutrients from the gut. Pancreatic polypeptide is secreted by the F cells and its function is not exactly understood but it slows down the secretion of the pancreatic digestive enzymes and absorption of foods in human beings. Thank you and we hope you have enjoyed our tutorial. You subscribe to our channel and hit on the like button. Thank you.